<clears throat> Woo. It's Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. My name is Alex. I'm your host for this <laughs> for the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Powered by Incorporating Associates. I'm your social media intern, and over the next hour, I'm kidding, no, it's going to be a short one because I have a call coming up pretty soon here. Um, I just wanted to touch up on a topic and remind you all of this recurring theme of the podcast and of life itself is that everyone is entry level forever. Entry level forever, even if you are salaried. <laughs> In states that, uh, that recognize a right to, quote unquote, right to work, I remember when it was still called fire at will, or now it's just called at will employment. And I don't know, it sounds more professional, quote unquote, it sounds cleaner. It, sound, it sounds like you're wearing rubber gloves. <laughs> Nah, fuck that. To me, it's fire at will. Has been, always will be. And that means, essentially, that anybody, anyone could get got. Nobody is excluded. There is extreme prejudice that's used, but such is the key to success, as an older associate actually once told me. Alex, do you know what the key to success is? And... I straight told him, no, what is it? Because I really wanted to know. I mean, if this person was in a higher rank than I was, I wanted to know what what it took to get there. And they said, discrimination. Discrimination is the key to success. And shit, that's true. When you are in a when you are in a position that is entry level. At every step of the way, you have to learn how to discriminate what's good from what's bad. Anybody could fall victim to deception. Anyone could fall victim to fraud. Anyone can fall victim to disillusionment. Anyone can fall victim to disenchantment. Disenchantment? Disenchantment. When you're entry level forever, it's all or nothing every day. It's do or die every day. That's how you earn your stripes. That's how you then become discriminated as as being good. So you're either discriminated for, you know, as as like a preference. You you are either preferred or you are discriminated against. You are un- dispreferred, disfavored. And nobody's immune from this. Even CEOs, even chief executives. No one is immune. No one. It's entry level forever. At every position, any position is entry level forever. There's just some positions that normatively, we'll call, normatively, are given this form of of deference because they have a wider span of, of control. They have a wider span of responsibility. They just, they have more responsibilities in essence. And with more responsibility comes comes a a greater degree of control that you have over your immediate surroundings. Some folks mistake that for for fucking power. It just goes straight to their head just because they have a little bit more say-so in one or a a few more items in their day. They think they're in power all of a sudden, all of a fucking sudden. And they forget that the service they are performing is to everyone. Everyone not just to themselves, not just to self-serve themselves with power. Everybody's in this position. It's entry level. And that deference, it runs out. It runs out 
when folks are in higher positions. Yes, there is a certain respect that's allowed them. There's a certain respect that's allowed to them that's a, that they are afforded because they have a greater degree of responsibility. They have many more things to answer to. So you got to place a little bit more trust on these folks. Keep in mind, though, that they are still entry level forever. So it doesn't matter how much trust you put in someone. What matters is how much trust they engender in themselves. How much trust they inculcate in themselves. How much trust they give off. Whether or not they can still be discriminated for. And all it takes is one time, is, is one fuck up. I mean, you want to go to extremes. All it takes is one fuck up. Or it could take a long series of fuck ups for that deference, for that respect to run out. And anybody can get the hammer. There's this, for some folks, a little higher up the ladder, there's additional procedures you have to take on, additional actions, disciplinary or rehabilitation, retraining, reorientation. Otherwise, it's, an, it's a termination. It's fire at will. Ultimately, it's still at will. The key to success is discrimination. So you better become apt at discriminating. And you better, you better become good at discriminating quick. Share this. Share this with your younger associates. Share this with the ones still in school. Share this with the ones who still haven't entered the workforce. Who still haven't been put under a contract yet. Those are the fuckers who are free right now. I mean, yeah, we all have... <clears throat> We all have freedom, like, we all have fire at will freedom, yeah. <laughs> how do I fucking, <laughs> hold on, how do I, how do I connect those? We all have, we have freedom in the same proportion as we have job security. There you fucking go. We have freedom in the same proportion as we have job security. It's fire at will. Some fucking corporate cowboy shit. Visit us on Instagram, the Corporate Cowboys page. The handle is at incorporating underscore associates dot IA. You can also uh, subscribe to the Patreon for a monthly uh, subscription. It's really a donation in keeping this operation nonprofit. We're on Patreon. That's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. You can catch us pretty much anywhere podcasts are distributed um oh wait the handle i think i fucked up the handle that's at incorporating dot associates underscore ia right if you do want to donate directly you can venmo me that's alex at coco you can also cash at me. That's dollar sign corporate cowboys. PayPal.me slash corporate cowboys. This goes towards expenses, monthly expenses and uh, legal fees. You know, just rendering unto Caesars and then avoiding the tax. <laughs> avoiding, not evading, avoiding. So you better become good at discriminating and you better become good quick. What's uh, unique about society at this moment is the blending, the blending of morals. And I already ran through countless of these exercises when I was growing up 
and uh, my my parents, my parentals can attest to the headaches that I put them through. But yeah, I, I adhere to a certain moral code of my own when I was younger where right was wrong, where bad was good, where what was legal was whack, where reading books was for fucking nerds. <laughs> And, um, and, that, and nowadays that, that ideal, <clears throat> that ideal that I grew up with, and here's how trippy it is. That ideal that I, I guess grew into is now becoming the norm in society at large. But in retrospect, I mean, I knew I was a piece of shit when I was younger. I'm talking like when I was 18, younger, underage, almost. I knew what kind of piece of shit I was. And what's funny, what's ironic is that that piece of shit that I was back then, the the character, the attributes of just being unproductive, uh, of being fucking destructive, not even, I wasn't even creating. I was creating to a minimal extent back then. I mean, I was still obviously developing. I was developing myself, developing knowledge of myself but i wasn't i wasn't helping others i wasn't i was actually running from responsibility and i became really good at avoiding responsibility um i was accountable for all my shit i mean i i never i never pointed the finger at folks shit that i knew and and i had left witnesses for fuck yeah i mean i'd have to cop to them like yeah i did that and i'll take what comes to me but I mean, that's just, that's just honor. I mean, that's just, that's just living with, that's just living honorably. That's not being a fucking rat. That's not being a fucking bitch. <clears throat> Getting carried away. And growing up, and growing up now, I'm able to reflect on the piece of shit that I was, and now I see society, society making that the norm, and um, I feel like I'm ahead of the curve. Is what I'm trying to get at. That's why every now and then I I gotta go on a little rant. I usually go outside to exercise for this, get my mind off of things, but that's just how you know that you're on your way up. I'm I've been ahead of the curve. I've I've been a piece of shit. <laughs> or I was a piece of shit, right? And I grew out of it into a fucking professional. But now I see what's coming up behind me and I'm already ahead of the curve. I, I've already walked through those steps. My father would tell me, I've already been through what you've been through. I've already seen that. I've already done that. Granted, it's been under different situations where now they could, I mean, now they might be able to, uh, to, to skin and gut game, but you know, they can't work their way expertly around a smartphone. So yeah, so some circumstances do differ and they can be distinguished. But overall, now I'm seeing the younger generation come up in the fuckery that I've already been through. I've already explored. I've already investigated. I've already researched. That means to search again. I've already seen, like, I've, I've seen, I've seen some of the things that these folks are doing and it's making it easier. It's making it easier for me because mind you, Mind you, I'm approaching their organizations from the outside on some corporate cowboy shit, knowing the culture they already keep on the inside. I, I.e., for example, that shit culture that I grew up with, that I grew up in, where right was wrong, where legal was whack, where bad was good, and they think it's cool. When I was younger, I thought this dangerous shit was cool. And now I grow up and I realize it's just life. 
it's just business. Business is always personal. And you got to be good at discriminating in life. Otherwise, just like your business, it can be taken away from you. Damn, I got fucking dark.